Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is MTB Alex and as you can see I'm back in the garage and I couldn't help it and I went ahead and get the bike for my kids. So this is what we have right now. So basically this is a Huffy Scout. Huffy Scout. It is a 24 inch mountain bike and it's supposed to take riders 46 to 56. And it's pretty basic. I mean, he has the micro shift, seven speed, and he has three at the front. He has mechanical brakes. These bolts seem to be plastic. I can go ahead and do the magnet test right here. No, it's all plastic. And it comes with that threadless headset which is great for upgrades however I'm not really happy about this two bolter right here because I know they just get loose all the time and it doesn't have a dropper of course this uh, $124 bike and on the back I have the Shimano with the free wheel now it does have this brake on the back, they're mechanical, but they're 160s though, as well as on the front. You can see right there, 160, mechanical. And the fork is just generic. And it says 80 millimeters of travel, which I really doubt it. Now the reason I got this one is because I like the way it looked. I know it's a kid's bike, it's a 24 inch. So my kid will get a few years of use for this thing. It's only eight years old. And I like it because the way it seems over here. This looks like a real taper head tube. I know the fork is not gonna be tapered, that's of course. But I'm pretty sure if you put in the correct headset right here, top and bottom you can make this a a taper fork you can upgrade to a taper fork am I gonna do that no I don't think this bike is worth it now things to see right here stickers stickers sticker 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 wear a helmet don't forget your PPE guys this however, this is not a sticker, this is uh, cleared in. But other than that, this has quite a bit of a potential. Uh, the front derailleur is a Shimano Turney, it has a 3 by up front. And like I said, 7 speed on the back, this is the derailleur protector. So first off, let's go ahead and weigh this thing. And... 36.4 pounds so this is not the lightest which is okay because this is actually a steel frame it's a steel frame it's not aluminum so of course it's gonna be of course it's gonna be heavy like I said I want to keep a budget because right now he was actually riding that Huffy right there which I needed to replace the brakes on it has a quill, quill stem so this is a, quite a nice upgrade for him right now. All right, so right off the bat, this is a big bike. I'm gonna do a trail review. This is as high as it can go. So not too bad. Might be able to do one, I don't know. The handlebars, they're too short. In their, I don't have any to measure them. These are, like I said, they're plastic. And I can already have a few upgrades in mind for this. I want to convert this into a one by. But the problem that I'm having is finding a crank arm. This is 152 millimeter. What I usually have is 170. But I don't know if I put one in 170, it's gonna be too close to the ground. 
which is gonna make it a little bit difficult. Now, let me zoom into the fork. Now, this fork is supposed to have 80 millimeters of travel. There's no preload, no rebound, none of that. It's just a simple fork. But if I put all my weight in it, it bottoms out around right here. Right there. So I still have a good two and a half inches of travel that is not going down. So this is gonna be, well probably for my kid it won't matter because it's probably about 50 pounds so he's not gonna do a lot to it. But my plan is to put in a 26 inch fork over here. Something budget and then just go from there. Now, how does this thing come out of the box? Again, I found this at Walmart. I did not assemble this, okay? So I do notice right here on the front uh, sprockets, I'm in the middle one. And whenever I'm on that, my lowest gear, this is rubbing. So this can be adjusted. I can also hear my brakes rubbing, so that's gonna be an issue. On the back, and as well as the front, both of them are rubbing, okay? So the front and the back, let me take this off. It's stopping really quick. So both of the brakes are rubbing. Now let's see about that shifting. Let's see how that shifting is going. Again, this is a twist shift. Okay, I'm at my highest gear. Two, three, four, five, six, so shifting on the back no problem now let's see the front so yes a little bit of rubbing but I think we can go ahead and adjust that right here with the micro adjustment okay that's the middle one this is what I don't want it to rub I'm in between one and two and actually is on two so it's not bad if I go to the bottom one there's no rubbing I put on the highest gear, no rubbing on the derailleur over here. Let's go to the middle one. There's a little bit of rubbing, but if I play uh, right there, highest gear on the back, a little bit of rubbing, but if we play with this, there you go, nothing. Let's go ahead and set up the rubbing on the brakes. This is something that I've done before. You can check out the other videos for that. Now, if it keeps rubbing after you try that, loosen it up, holding the brake, you can try two different things. You can either eyeball it and then tighten it up, or you can get a piece of paper and put it on both sides of the brake pad, then hold the brake, re -tight. hopefully that's aligned. So, I'm gonna go with the eyeballing it by moving the caliper, rotating, until I hear no more rubbing. That is perfect, no more rubbing. And then you repeat the same process on the front caliper and it should straighten it up. Well guys, another thing that I would like you to do every time you get a new bike, especially if it's a big box bike, make sure you get some grease and grease everything. Take the headset out, grease the bearings, grease the crankset, Grease the hubs, put a little grease on the seat post, and then you should have no problems, no seizing issues, and it'll be really cool. So make sure you grease everything that you can. Make sure you check that all the bolts are tightened before you actually hit it to the trail, especially if it's your kid's bike, okay? You don't wanna mess with that. Now, I am gonna do a few upgrades for this bike, but maybe with the upgrades that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shed a few pounds. So stay tuned for those upgrades and if you like this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe help me reach a thousand subscribers by spring that's it for this one guys and I'll see you on the trails goodbye